Star Edition. I am your host, Mike S. Miller. 27 year veteran of the comic book industry. And now here with you on the tubes that are you. YouTube. Uh, sharing my, you know, quarter of a century of experience with y'all. Um, actually, you know what? Am I streaming on... Uh, I should be streaming on uh, yeah, 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 yeah. D Live too. Let me check. D Live, D Live, Blacklist Universe. I did reset, and I am not streaming. I don't know what the deal is with D Live. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to stream. <coughs> so, anyways. It is what it is, and we are where we are, and so we are going to be doing a How to Draw Lone Star today. Uh, let me see. Get us a new window. Lone Star, for those of you who don't know, is my character from my uh, comic book series. Oh, actually, I should have changed should have changed the title. It is in the title, Back Lone Star Here. Ignore the Canadian teacher's lessons cause six-year-old. Uh, ignore all that. I'll change that later. Um but, uh, yeah, what is the uh, image? Whoops. That's inverse. Uh, image. Image size. One of my DPI here. Ugh, I don't want that. Let's do 200 DPI. Fit on screen. All right. And there will be our work area for today. And I'm going to teach you all how to draw. A lone Star, Anders. Good day, Anders. Anders, your last name isn't Finer, is it? Hmm. By the way, if you are just coming in, this is a workshop, so I am taking questions and I uh, do interact with the chat. So if you have questions, comments, whatnot, just let me know. Uh, six watching now, please. As you do come in, hit that like button, hit that share button, let some people know we are here learning how to draw comics like a pro. Alright, this has been posted. Create. Alright, so, um, let's see. Let us begin. Lone Star. Lone Star. Lone Star is a man of uh, average build. Let me just start with... I'm going to do, you know what, let's image, canvas size, height, let's do 11 inch, there we go. Now I can actually change this, and I can make him actual full size. So Lone Star is obviously standard, not hulkishly big he's um like my my uh unknown soldiers lone star uh pastor hothead etc to be of sort of what you would consider um athletic um i i don't know i kind of base them kind of on, on my my uh, special forces buddy, um, his build when he was like deep in service. So big guy, but not like we're not drawing the Hulk here, you know. So yeah. sort of a good yeah. athletic build, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'm coming. I can't do it now. Why? Cause I'm working. He wants the carpet cleaned again. No. Alright, Jojo, you can close the door now. Why? Because you're being annoying. Shucks. Fine. <laughs> uh, my last is name is from Estonia, but I live in Sweden. Uh, Papa Chat, right on. Right on, Anders. Well, good to meet you, my man. Nine people watching. Only nine people want to watch how to draw comics like a pro shocking shocking I say so 
as I say, roughly medium. Well, not medium. I mean, I want them to be big, not huge. All right. And I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I am trying to draw this and talk at the same time. If you guys have any questions while I just work on this basic basic body build, uh, did not get a notification. All right. Sorry, Lady Celtic Moon. Then you know the deal. Send out them. Send out those Twitter notifications yourself. Hit that share button. Let's get some people in here because now we have even less. We've lost someone in the process. All right. So this would be roughly Lone Star's build, right? Athletic, um, powerful, but not ridiculous. I'm not good at draw without a basic pick. I can only only mimic. Well, that comes with time. That comes with time. You learn more and more about about you know structure, about anatomy, and in time, that sort of thing uh, gets logged into your brain, and and then you can create um, from your imagination rather than having to draw from pictures. It's true. All right. <clears throat> so, basic Lone Star. Obviously, you guys know he wears uh, his uh, sort of sheep, sheep fur, sheepskin collar. He wears it up, right? Standard World War II Navy flight jacket with the collar up. Which, you know, comes down around the waist area. When I have Lone Star in quote-unquote full costume, um, then he also has uh, cargo pants. I well, we'll get to that. Um, but his leather jacket is, you know, I don't want it to be, like, form-fitting necessarily. He always has his sleeves pulled up while he's... Uh, you know ready for business you want to make sure you give enough room here to crunch up his his jacket sleeve because uh you know he's he's pulling up his sleeve around his forearms so it's not just it's not a short jacket <laughs> he just pulls his sleeves up and so therefore when he does that you do have to get in here and kind of bunch them up Give some good wrinkles there. Um, the seams on the sleeves are here. I give him... I know this isn't standard issue or anything, but I do kind of give him a, a little line break here on the on the jacket to kind of give it like that top shoulder kind of look. I know that's not like... It, it's not standard on, on uh, flight jackets. And also, the pockets on flight jackets, they tend to be like this, where they have this, the pockets here. But sometimes I will draw them like this. And I know I haven't been completely consistent about that. But, uh, what the heck, I'm not perfect. Alright, so let's actually lower that jacket down just a bit. Alright, pockets... All right, and then obviously Lone Star has a black T-shirt <clears throat> tucked into his pants, belt line, belt buckle here, and then uh, he does have a quote-unquote utility belt. It's actually a belt with pouches. It's sort of a military-style belt uh, where you can add add um, pouches for whatever sundry needs he has you know that is where Rob Liefeld came up with the whole pouches thing was t not I wouldn't say stealing it but he was inspired by how the military you know they have pockets everywhere they have pouches everywhere because they gotta carry a lot of stuff well Lone Star carries stuff too uh, you may not know what's in the pouches yet but uh, you know when he has to pull something out you'll you'll discover. Mike, what do you do first? Draw the character, backstory, comic story, or design the character? Uh, it ranges. It ranges. I'm using a pretty old version of Photoshop. Uh, I think CS3. 
CS3 or CS4. Uh, so let's zoom in here. <clears throat> and let's get to this eagle. So the eagle is sort of a diamond shape in the center of his chest. And then the tail fans out. It's got five feather tail. Remember, eagles don't have really long necks, otherwise they look like pigeons. Hooked beak. A five-pointed crest here, because even though it's a yellow eagle, it's supposed to be a bald eagle. So, uh... <laughs> I know. It's a yellow bald eagle. Shush. And, uh, the design does go all the way up here, so that's why the it kind of just looks like this on here. And then... The feathers, the chest comes out first, so the feathers are do start behind. So don't don't draw the feathers in front of the eagle's chest, please. I like a saw. What's good, AML? Twenty-four people watching now, right on. And sometimes, if I'm if I'm being. Uh, particularly detailed I will actually draw the the whatever you the elastic around the the neck here so this will be black most of the times I will just drop full black like you guys know I don't spot a lot of blacks in Lone Star um, but I will more often than not don't forget zippers have uh, actual zipper handles zippers on them um, I will actually drop blacks in for his t-shirt design. Dante asks, Hail Mike, do highly stylized artists like Mike Mignola or Tim Sale learn to draw realistically and naturalistically first? Um, you'd have to ask them, but uh, I would suggest it. <clears throat> I would suggest it. All right, so before we get to the mask, let's kind of do the mask last. Let's get around to finishing off here. So these bomber jackets, they do have, they are leather, right? And leather has a different sort of softer fold to it than, uh, than say, um, like a denim. Well, I guess it all depends. It all depends. There's softer leathers, there's harder leathers. But, um... Like I said, keep that fold in mind here. But they do have elastic bands around the wrist and around the waist. So this is elastic here. And what I'm doing here is sort of a breakdown. I can actually bust this out and then um, I'll do another layer where the, I use this as my underdrawing. And then I'll go in and I'll tighten stuff up. So, oh yeah, and then Texas flag on his left arm, flag forward, always flag forward, although I know that was nothing until the 80s, and then U.S. flag on his right arm, flag forward. All right, Lone Star also wears sort of a, uh, sort of fighting gloves, fighting slash driving gloves, right? So they are cut off at the knuckles. Oh, I forgot to do my advertising. Shoot. And uh, for those who don't know who Lone Star is, I'm sure everyone here does, but uh, it is my comic that is currently on sale at LoneStarComic.com. The link is in the description. Please do, if you have not already. This is the last weekend for the campaign. So we should be in full promo mode, um, which is why I've chosen Lone Star to be the topic for today's How to Draw Comics Like a Pro. All right, so again. And Lone Star does carry a Bowie knife made out of a special alloy, but uh, I'm not going to draw it in this picture. Just kind of him. So, again, Lone Star in full regalia, full costume, does wear um, cargo pants. And he does wear semi-high, semi-high um, sort of combat 
footwear, combat boots. Actually, maybe shorter ones. coffee. Lone Star bringing back the members only jacket. <laughs> Close the door. I don't have my knife. I don't have my knife. Go have Isaac or go have Elijah do it. Um, please share and like. Yes, please do share and like. Uh, what is the image size and ratio? Also DPI setting. I have this at 200 DPI like 7 by 11 or something like that. Are they sapper gloves, the kind with a little lead sewn into the impact area while punching? Eh, I haven't really thought about it. Sure, why not? Um, also, no. You can or you don't have to. Because see, Lone Star will just kind of throw on his gear and go out. Uh, he doesn't usually wear knee pads. But when he goes out, like, with the unknown soldiers they are all fully geared up so he's got knee pads and everything so technically I guess you could put him in knee pads um, when he's when he's on his personal patrol but it's uh, it's not necessary so I'm gonna not and then just sort of bunch up his pants he's got the since they're cargos he's got the pockets and you can vary up the type of cargo pants you use. I know there's some cargo pants where they have multiple. They have they'll have a smaller upper pocket and a larger lower pocket here. You know what I mean? Um, so do as you will. As you will. He doesn't have a standardized pair of of uh, cargo pants. And sometimes if uh, if you know duty calls, then he's just rocking jeans. You know, maybe he wears those Chuck Norris flexible jeans <laughs> so that he can always be prepared to do them high kicks. Them Chuck Norris high kicks. You know what I'm saying, right? Casual BDUs. So, uh, let's see. Or you can reference any kind of combat footwear you want to. Heck, you can go old school Doc Martin kicks if you want, or of course I think the uh, blue-haired lesbian mob has has taken over the Doc Martin industry. Seems to be the only people who wear Docs anymore. Even though I love Docs, that's kind of annoying. But uh, there we go. And then he would tuck his laces because you don't want to be running around and have your laces pop off get on snagged on anything right right am I right or am I right am I right am I right all right so uh, this is kind of the basic design I do I do uh, I do this material here for the for the uh, uh, laces area right then I'll do a single strap up here and then I'll do three lines down here that's just kind of my basic basic boot I can't remember what I was referencing when I first came with that but it was referenced uh, I may have altered the reference over time but it is what it is also um, if some of the these pouches around the around the waist they don't have to all be uniform size like he can have a long longer pouches in the back and whatnot to carry extra clips if he's carrying a gun or whatever you know it's it's variable because you know military depends on what the mission is he doesn't tend to carry a gun when he goes out on his own patrols, um, you know, because he's not dealing with monsters usually, and he can he can take a shot, he can take a bullet. So uh, if someone has a gun, he usually likes to disarm him himself and then use their own weapons against them. I don't know how grim that is, but uh, it is what it is. All right, roundhouse jeans by Norris. Yeah, give him pirate's hat. Arg, matey. No, 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 guy. No pirate's hat. Sorry. Wasn't notified. I'm sorry. Uh, Captain Terror asks, Mike, which Marvel artist do you find inspirational? Kirby, Busima, 
Romita Lee, Joe Mad. Uh, no on Kirby. Uh, yes on Busima. No on Romita. Well, maybe Romita Senior. Uh, no on Lee and no on Mad. But yes on Lee and Mad earlier in my life. Um, so Lone Star, as you all know, sports a flight. Uh, I don't know if they call it a helmet or just head gear and flight goggles. Uh, these are not perfectly in line with the World War II era flight goggles because, um, I don't know, I just kind of stopped referencing them and just kind of started going on on my own. And that's what something that happens is like you don't want to sit there and re-reference stuff over and over again. Then it just kind of starts to change the way you draw it. And then he wears a modified uh, U.S. Navy Air Corps uh, flight insignia on his on his hat. So rather than just um, you know the 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 standard one looks like this, right? This is kind of the standard old World War II era uh, design. But today he wears one with wing. He takes the same. It's modified, so it's got wings. Actually, you know what? The the modern Air Force kind of has a not too dissimilar. The modern Air Force has uses the star and the wings. But he does the whole red and white thing. That and I think they just use the blue and white. And then um, the flight helmet has the ear protector section on it as well air protectors plus you could I guess you can hear and let's see eyes shouldn't be really very visible too often under his helmet I mean under his mask um, or his goggles and then there's a little you know tightening valve night valve tightening latch here um, and then, as far as Lone Star's facial features, he's got, uh, you know, the chiseled jaw. The chiseled jaw of your standard hero. He's got a little bit of a broken looking, it's not really broken, but a broken looking nose. So he's got a little knob here, and then a little, I don't know if you'd call it a puggish tip of the nose. That's kind of how you can easily define characters is just change the shape of their nose right and then just sort of a little uh, not too big it's just standard standardized I guess lips um, Allah no cleft chin or anything he's not Superman although my wife has a cleft chin so I guess you don't have to be Superman um, so that's kind of your standardized Lone Star. I'm going to use this as a breakdown, and I'm going to go in and go ahead and do tights, uh, tightening up on this. So what you do here, let's see, why the goggles? Because it's part of, it reminds him of who he was, um... When he first started to fight for his country, he was a pilot. So he wears the flight mask and the flight goggles um, as a reminder. Plus it, I don't know, it kind of hides his identity a little bit. He has a bit of a rocketeer, would you say? I would, I'd say, yeah, more that kind of a feeling, a rocketeer kind of feeling. Um, although, I don't think, oh yeah, he was a pilot, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a pilot. Uh, although Lone Star doesn't do a lot of flying. <laughs> Not anymore. Keeps his PTSD under control. Clefton is standard for Superman. Yes. Leather flight cap. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Just a leather flight cap. Three stripes of winter weather. Draw Lone Star on a horse, Mike. That would greatly help artists. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a layer, um, and I'm going to take this Lone Star, and I'm going to convert him 
First of all, I want to colorize them. Convert them to blue. Bump up the saturation to max. And then lightness. Yeah, up to about there. And then I'm going to draw, redraw on a new layer so that I can do all this but tighter. Actually, image, image size. Let me up the DPI so I can get some finer work in here. And then we will actually start at the mask. Although, darn it. See, in real life, rather than on the computer, um, I would be do using a stencil because I don't really know how to get the right angles and stuff for uh, circles and whatnot. This is also why I would, generally speaking, I would print this out in blue um, and then ink it in just traditional traditional inks so uh, this is not that easy to do and this is actually supposed to be a little ridge this is very difficult forgive me for my imperfect circles and I know I could just grab the circle thing circle tool but whatever all right Hoping to see adventures of him during World War II. Are you now? Are you really? Well, there will be a Vietnam era adventure uh, of Lone Star and Company in Offworlders. Um, I think it's called Blood in the Jungle. Edwin's, Edwin's writing it. Matt Weldon is drawing it. Should be really cool. Uh, and that's at the Offworlder Indiegogo. Oh, I should put that in the description. But you can just Google it. You can, or not Google it. Just go to Indiegogo and look up Offworlder. Uh, Edwin's writing that story as we speak. Mike can't draw a horse. Yes, I can, Aaron. Are you kidding me? Are you trying to dare me to draw a horse? Give me a break. This isn't this isn't how to draw horses like a pro today. Actually, horses was one of the earliest things I learned how to draw because my mom didn't uh, she didn't have any soup how to draw superhero comics or uh, how to draw superhero books. I got that later in life, but she did have how to draw horses, how to draw perspective, how to draw flowers, how to draw birds. So I learned some of that stuff. Not flowers. I didn't really care about flowers. But I learned perspective in horses pretty early. I consider use I consider a bl digital blue sketch with original ink to be handmade art, especially if the inker penciler is inking. Yeah. Do no need to apologize for imperfections. I like to see the loose drawing style gives an insight to the process. Um do you want Lone Star to ride a horse? <laughs> I like flowers. Alright. So okay. drawing the details on his mask, it is a it is a uh you know, it's a three dimensional mask, so I give it a little bit of a this this lip here. So this comes out in the middle and then like when you're looking down it's thinner on the downside. And then thicker on the upside, if you know what I'm explaining. And I have actually done this part multiple ways. It does thicken up over here on the on the outside rim. Um, I've done it where the the top points are sharp and pointy, and I've done it where they're kind of rounded. I th I think I kind of like it rounded rounded but not like crazy rounded you know what I mean um, but I have I'm guilty of being rather inconsistent about that 
Um, so like I said, I don't like to show a lot of details of his eyes inside when he's when he's wearing the mask, because then it kind of gives away his his features more so, and then it's it's less it works less as a mask if you can see his whole bloody face. You know what I mean? Korean War would be a good time to do Mike. Mike, I know, I know. Um, yeah, Ed Edwin really wants to delve into that stuff because um, I was talking to him about some of the past and and where uh, where the the full the full six count of the unknown soldiers comes in, and uh, you know Brando is is a Korean War. Uh, that oops ah uh, the control z button brush so let's see here ah, shoot kind of hard to do with this angle oh i forgot i can uh i can do this Ugh. I'm not sure I like how this is coming out. Wait, this is on. Ah, that's about right. Um, Aaron, oh my gosh, dude. You're killing me with this horse crap. Horse crap, get it? Uh, if you need to see how well I draw horses, you can just go to my Game of Thrones covers. Or you can go to the Hedge Knight books. Uh, Hedge Knight, Sworn Sword, Mystery Knight. I drew hundreds, probably, of horses. Running, walking, hanging out, eating, drinking, posing. No pooping, though. I did not do any horses pooping. And yeah, maybe at some point I will do Lone Star on a horse if there is the call for it. Partying, smoking. Horses smoking? No. I was thinking about having Lone Star smoke, though. I like, I like drawing smokers. I know it looks like I'm just tracing a lot of this stuff, but I'm getting rid of a lot of these extraneous lines while I'm doing it. And I'm slightly modifying some things too. Alright, so one thing I didn't mention as I was building out the, the breakdown artwork. Alright, so this is not just a perfect square. Um, is the uh, the buttons for the leather flight mask that uh so this part here is actually plastic part that covers the ear it's a protective it's not just protective but it's got um it's got a uh, uh, audio stuff in it I believe uh it also has part of the leather comes down here straps down around the neck right and this actually has three button like knobs on it so that you can attach an actual uh, face mask part for the pilot so wanted it to be relatively authentic kinda upset that my wife brought home food because I'm starving um, and then this should have stitching on it and I tend to make this part I know it's uh, you wouldn't really see like anger lines and stuff but I, I tend to just sort of give it it's a comic book for Pete's sake so you can you can add those little fun details 
Uh, smoking, partying, meeting. Uh, best smoker in comics, Wolverine. What? I won't watch the roster. I know. Can you bring me some anyways? Yeah, mozzarella sticks while I'm trying to do a stream. Oh. Yeah. It's just a tiny little picture. Doesn't matter. See? Oh, she's not even there. Alright. So, alright. Let me rotate this because that is a hard line to do backwards. Alright. Stitching, stitching, stitching. Don't forget your stitching, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget your stitching. <clears throat> Is someone wearing sunglasses indoors? Yeah, that's my wife. Mike's going to eat on a live stream. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Thank you. <laughs> I can turn my camera off, but this would be a good moment for me to pause and um, answer questions. Who's better for movies, Lo Wolverine, Logan, or Batman? Oh, Batman doesn't smoke. Hmm. Mozzarella sticks. Mm -mm -mm. Don't say plastic. Say special nano reinforced plate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and that's one thing I did not mention. Um, Lone Star's t-shirts not may, may not be, but his jacket is actually. It's coated with um, colloidal silica, so it's technically bulletproof. It's sort of like a John Wick's outfit. So it doesn't get all. It doesn't get all beat up. It is the same jacket. It's not going to end up with a bunch of holes in it. Hmm. Should Captain Marvel be more sexy? Hmm. Eight Ball says yes. Hmm. Many comics look paint on and not fabric. What can be done? To not do that. Mm. Learn how fabric looks when people are wearing it. Reference. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you want it to look like a leotard or like, um, you know, like an Olympus Olympic, um, you know, that they, they wear those skin tight outfits. They do, you know, it. They do bunch in the corners. Um, so even though most of it is skin tight, they don't show every single line, but that's just kind of how superheroes are. You know, you're, you're exaggerating the skin tightness of their outfits. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I do apologize for eating, but it's what I do. Space age polymers. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Oh, Black Wolf, I've been eating on stream for... <laughs> ever. <laughs> if my wife brings me food, I have to... I have to honor that. Hmm. Let me see. Sorry if I'm making you hungry. <laughs> Will there be any Betty Page type people in Lone Star? Betty Page? Well, I think Angel is probably as close as we're going to get. Mike, can you do reviews and the like of your audience illustrations? I know this isn't really a class, but it would be nice, although not for free if you want. Yeah, let's do... Um, if you want me to review a piece... Uh, post it on Twitter and hashtag, don't just at me, but hashtag, um, 
Hashtag draw like a pro. Hashtag draw like a pro. Or draw comics like a pro. Okay? And, you know, you can mention what you want me to do, but I, I, I can do draw overs and um, sort of show where people make common mistakes and whatnot um, with that sort of thing. And I can download it before the fact, have it ready for the show. I'm not going to go to Twitter on this because I'm doing this on my Mac and it... Uh, I'm, I'm not able to hide a bunch of stuff, so. Mm -mm -mm. Any chance there will be a Wonder Woman type hero in the Lone Star series? Think about it. Well, Captain Hiltz, um, if there was to be, I wouldn't tell you. You guys all know I love my I love my secrets on when I'm when I'm doing these stories and stuff. So uh, I wouldn't tell you if there was, brother. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Hashtag draw comics like a pro. Thank you, Edwin. Hair says I really enjoy these lessons. My favorite series you're doing. Thank you, Hair. I'm not going to say the first half of your name. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Last one. Don't worry. Almost there. You are I'm making chicken Alfredo. Um. Can I send three right now? <laughs> no. I'm not going to be doing anything right now, like I said. Um, what could have made Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern movie work? A better villain. Yep, I bought them for you guys. Yeah, um, you know, that's kind of my thing. I believe that the the hero is defined by the villain. Um, what what your challenges are, what you overcome. You know, that's what that's what being a hero is. Well, a superhero, anyways, right? So don't just come up with a hero. As cool as Green Lantern was. That villain was freaking stupid. Oh my gosh. But if you had had... I don't know. If you had had... Um, I don't know. Could you have fast forwarded to Sinestro? <laughs> if you had had some sort of a villain that, that was just sincerely frightening and awesome looking and... and just, you know, something. That cl cloud of goof goofiness was just, I th that was the worst part about that whole movie. And that just, it brought it all tumbling down around, I don't know, man. All the other goofiness in the movie probably could have been excused. If there was just a real, awesome, menacing villain for him to overcome. You know? <laughs> and that's why, oddly enough, <laughs> Lone Star was not conceived of first. Uh, Iron Cross was. Lone Star was conceived of as the hero to the Iron Cross villain. Um, you have to have a problem before you can find a solution, right? So, at any rate, <clears throat> which artist and writer got you into comics? <sighs> Honestly, John Byrne. John Byrne, 
was my first favorite artist and writer. Um, well, no, maybe Chris Claremont, probably writer. But uh, I loved Burns' work. I love Burns' writing, too. Do, 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 do. Alright, remember, this is like the sheep's wool inside. So. Uh, could you present some of your best comics and tell your your about your journey creating them, industry info, stories, etc. EVS used to do that and it was interesting. I think people would enjoy it. Eh, not on this. This is just how to draw like a pro. How to draw comics like a pro. So, take notes. Um, I actually did, I did used to do that as well. Uh, I did it a couple times with some of my Injustice stuff, but, eh, I don't know. It felt kind of boring to me. So again, this is fuzzy stuff, so. <laughs> and then I, I mean, you can do it however you want. Like, you know, people have different senses of design of how they like to make textures and whatnot. I kind of do this thing, but I don't know. I was looking at some, some uh, worn blankets and stuff and uh, I think I'm going to try to come up with a different way to do this texture. But hey, you you're all your own individual artist, so try and figure stuff out on your own to make it look cool. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's bump this up a little bit so I can get a thicker line. You want to have the ridge, the seam. I know that's kind of an over-exaggeration, but whatever. So, American flag. One, two, three, four, five, six stripes under the stars. Um, Peter David pointed out that in classical Hugh superhero stories the hero is the doer and the bad guy exists to stop him in comics the villain is the doer and oh in classical hero stories and and the hero exists to stop him hmm I'm trying to think of where that is true let's see classic hero story so like Jason and the Argonauts, it's sort of a journey. Jason is on a journey and the bad guys are all the things that are out to keep him from success. Huh. I wonder how consistent that is. Odysseus. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Alright, now keep in mind anybody who's going to post on the draw comics like a pro hashtag um, <laughs> you may not like what I have to say so don't get angry I'm not I'm not going to pick favorites and I'm not going to pull punches. We learn to grow when we face the truth about our failings. So like I said, keep this bunched up. Keeping it bunched up. This is something a lot of people have to have to work on is how to do folds. I'm by no means perfect. 
but I try, I try. The hero sets out to achieve a task. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said, man. So it's cross examinations art edition. No, 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 no. This is uh, how to draw Bitcoin like a pro. <laughs> Uh, all right, so bunches material bunches up in the pits in the in the pits. Mm. It was David's essay in Wizard Magazine, The Dark Book of Villains. Hmm. Yeah, superheroes are, are kind of like cops, you know? They're there to stop villains from doing bad things. They're out on patrol. At least, you know, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Mans, your Batmans, your Lone Stars. They're out there. All right, and remember that uh, details, it's the details that sell the art. So you want to put your zippers in. <laughs> Call your art critique videos art examinations. Ha! I could do that actually. Art examinations. Then Art T Barrel be like, why? Why are you examining me again? Leave me alone, Mike. Gilgamesh is the first hero story ever. Ever? I don't think so. Uh, just maybe the first one we have a record of. Although, I don't know, how far back do the Chinese stories go? How far back do the Chinese stories go? I know they go back f almost 4,500 years. So I think that is probably around the time of Gilgamesh. Uh, Artemis, we don't swear on my channel. The Vedas of India. The Vedas and the Upanishads. Alright. Am I missing any important questions? Let me see. If you're going to post in the hashtag, get ready for SJW to troll to attack you. I don't care. Freaking SJW. I don't care about them. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they call me. I don't care what they think. I only care about what my supporters think. If I'm. Because I'm not here. I am not here to serve the SJWs. I'm here to serve my supporters. So, screw them. They don't own art. I own art. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Lone Star, Soul of the Soldier is the first hero story. Speaking of, Lone Star, Soul of the Soldier can be found at LoneStarComic.com. Link is in the description. Da, da, da. Drawing the pouches, always fun. Alright, going back here, doing your deets on the sleeves, the elastic of the cuffs, which I do occasionally draw Lone Star with his cuffs all the way down his sleeves all the way down but that's when he's like more in a relaxed like he's 
He's walking into the diner uh, to meet Angel. He'll, his cuffs will be all the way down. But when he's going to go rough up some some ruffians, then uh, it's time to roll your sleeves up. Take out the trash. <clears throat> I wasn't talking about you, Mike. I was saying specifically that that us uh, not used to the trolls should be discreet and block them when they come. Yeah, trolls are for blocking. I have I have decided people who disagree with you uh, but want to have rational discussion. Those are not trolls. Those are just people. But you can tell when someone is trolling, and for them, the Cure to a troll is a block. And if they think they won because they got you to block them, then let them have their Pyrrhic victory because they're idiots. Mm -mm -mm. Does Lone Star make out with hot chicks wearing the helmet? <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Lone Star will only ever make out with Angel in this particular series, so, uh. Spoilers. There. Do, 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 do. Mike, careful Mike, that hashtag might lead you to help SJW comic artists to improve too. Hey, uh, I will help anyone to improve. My channel is open to anyone. Du, 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 du. So again, Lone Star can be found at LoneStarComic.com if you are so inclined and have not yet picked up your copy. <coughs> then please do. Also, Monster Hunt, the Comicsgate crossover, also available at LoneStarComic.com. Or you can get both in a package deal. You've sent me a draw along on Twitter. All right, all right. Again, I can't check into any of that stuff. Let's see how we're looking here. Um, I don't think I can do that. Yeah, I'd need another. Oh, you know what I can do? Duplicate this layer. And make this layer all white. And I can just, boop. There, that looks nice. Cleaning up all right, huh? Huh? Riot Kitty wedges and a cascade of cylinders. I'm sorry, what? Am I missing something, Edwin? Oof. These, uh, this zipper doesn't look quite as good. <coughs> How do you dry hands? <laughs> Usually with a towel, but occasionally I do air dry. Uh, Edwin, I did a How to Draw Hands episode. Got to pay attention, man. Pay attention. Mm -mm. Ah, going backwards. I'm going up instead of down here. I don't know why. Doesn't seem like it's quite as easy as going down. But I already started, so.
All right, do dry your hands on your pants. Like your <laughs> zipper looks like the bottom row of teeth. Yeah, that looks horrible. Sorry, this zipper right here is terrible. It's like a puzzle. All right, let me do it. Talk about them. So, yeah, for some reason, going down is easier. Then here. Has anyone checked on Bitcoin lately? I know it's been like a whole hour since I've looked. Lone Star Zeal of the Zipper. <laughs> what is my favorite John Byrne comic? Ooh. Ooh, um, hmm, like my favorite run, I think, I think I like that, I know the X-Men is the his oldest stuff that he got really popular for that I can even remember, um, but you know, Terry Austin was inking him, and I think I liked that better than when he was inking himself on FF. I think Byrne got a little greedy. Uh, I don't think him choosing to uh, ink himself was a matter of artistic integrity. It was a matter of, oh, hey, I can, I can cut Terry out and I can, uh, I can make twice as much money because I don't have to do full pencils anymore. And then he just started getting lazy. Um, while I did love his FF work at the time, I, and you know, I love the stories. Um, I think his work with Austin was my favorite, so I'm gonna go with his X Men run. <coughs> right, Kitty, do Mike did do a good video drawing hands about two weeks ago. Check that out and draw twenty hands. Yeah, 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 do that. All right, I need to I need to get back to the questions here. Um, what rank was Lone Star? Lone Star was a commander. He's in the Navy, so uh, slightly different ranking system than uh, than the Army. Although I think that a commander do, would put him ahead of Captain America. <laughs> commander America. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't probably do that. Mm -hmm. So an 06? Oh, I don't know the specifics like that, man. Maybe. If you're Navy, you probably know better than I do. Yeah, my buddy Chris um, is a... Uh, he is a... What, what do they call that? Um, drill sergeant in Chicago for the Navy. I miss that guy. I wonder if he watches my shows regularly. He's a comic nerd too. Yeah. So again, it's the deets. It's the deets. Captain is 03 for ground troops. Bitcoin is at 10681. Thank you, Edwin Boyette. Does Lone Star take inspiration from Steve McQueen in The Great Escape? Ooh. I don't know. Probably deep down. <laughs> I do love The Great Escape. And I love Steve McQueen's, Steve McQueen's character. Gosh, I haven't watched that movie in a while. Yeah, 
You know, there's actually a bio, not a, I guess it's a biography on uh, Steve McQueen's faith. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, if anybody can look that up, Google that real quick. That is a book I actually do want to read. Lone Star was probably an 05, says Edwin. All right, Edwin, I will let you. I will let you make that determination. He was the best pilot in the Navy at the time of his quote-unquote death. Navy. Ba -ba -ba. I was kidding. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. I don't know what you're talking about. Lieutenant Commander sounds right. I'd say 04 would make sense too, says Hugh. Alright. Yeah, that is one thing I did not do enough research on in ranking him. Because, I don't know, I, I just didn't feel like... I don't know, I guess I just didn't get around to it. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. Mike, why are a lot of superheroes pilots? Um. Oh. Huh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you got, you got Green Lantern. You got uh, Ms. Marvel. Oh, I mean Captain Marvel, whatever. Who else is a pilot? Blackhawk? Does Blackhawk count as a superhero? I don't think he does, does he? Just kind of a hero hero. You got Pappy from Baba Black Sheep. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, what's up, Peter Mike? Mike! Y'all guys, don't forget to hit that like and show ya! What's up, buddy? It's the feeling of flying. Yeah. It's the adventurous ones, I guess. Right? Although, uh... <coughs> well, maybe some of them are just out for glory. Like Captain Marvel in the Marvel movie. You won't let me be a pilot. Well, let me show you. We should be fighter pilots. We'll be better than all the boys. Me. I also blame Canada. Thank you, none of your business. Star-Lord. Star-Lord is a... Well, I mean... Yeah, he's the pilot of the ship, but pretty much anyone can pilot a ship if you're in space. Right? All those guys are, like, piloting the ship at one point or another. He's just the captain of the ship. Ugh. Are you lonesome tonight? Shall I come back again? 
Memories. Oh, you lonesome. And then I always give his belt, like, the stripes, like the, uh, you know, those, those, those fabric military belts. And if I can, I'll even give him the rivets, you know, uh, E. The rivets. I know the belt buckle I'm using here doesn't, doesn't have, <laughs> it's, it's not one of the rivet belts. So this stylistically might not make sense. I just like these belts. The Falcon, Rhodey, and the Warlord. The Warlord. The Bionic Man. Steve Austin was a pilot? I didn't even remember that. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Now, is Bionic Man a superhero? I guess he is, huh? I guess if you blur the lines between just science fiction and superheroes, you know. <clears throat> Feminist outrage that the men's bathroom line is shorter? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, first of all, we don't bring all our friends into the bathroom with us to have 20-minute conversations. That might do have something to do with it. <laughs> and we don't have to take off layers of clothes and, and nylons and whatnot because you chose to wear them when you have to drop trout. So much stupidity in the world and this is what they worry about. Uh, gotcha, man. Ooh, I like that, Mr. Hellstorm. I will take that into consideration. I will definitely take that into consideration. All right, let's see. Let's finish this. Let's see how we looking so far. Bing. Not too shabby. As Mike inks a crotch. What? Oh, was I talking about the dropping trout? <laughs> oh, I come back again. Hey Edwin, I dropped some of my uh, some of my altcoins and uh, cashed them out in a bitcoin, so I now have a four tenths of a bitcoin, rather than one quarter. Four tenths. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're so talented. Oh, thank you, Archie. Uh, who's your favorite writer to work with? Um, I'll probably say Ben Avery. Ben Avery. You guys wouldn't like my my answer for who I think the best writers I've worked with are, <laughs> because they're both SJW. Um, at least in the uh, at least the mainstream comics guys I think uh, I've worked with some really talented uh, quote unquote nobodies um, Sean Jordan who I think just completely disappeared from comics entirely was an incredibly talented writer he's the guy that, that co-wrote uh, six gun Samurai with me if you guys have read that or or are getting that from the campaign. Really, really talented writer. I don't know what the heck he's doing nowadays, though. Um, and then, yeah, Ben Avery is a really, really good writer too. And I've worked with him on. I worked with him with George R. R. Martin. Um, I worked with him on the Imaginaries, on Lullaby, uh, God Sword, which again hasn't been produced yet, but 
Hopefully will. Hmm, what does that smell? Mommy's making something smells good. Brussels. Ooh, Brussels sprouts. <coughs> Shall I come back again? Honey, please, are you lonesome tonight? Oh. <laughs> Mickey is judging you. Uh, Mike, don't you feel weird when drawing digitally being a person who always draws by hand? Yeah, I hate drawing digitally. <laughs> I, I do get that it's, like, I hate all these finishes I'm doing. I, I like, I could do these ten times better um, with a quill or a brush, if I had a good brush. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. A digital, digital is good for breakdowns, maybe for some, some loose layout, or tight layouts or, or loose breakdowns. But, uh, yeah, as far as finish work, I would go, I would, I would always rather go. <gasps> Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Time to answer more questions. <laughs> Talk about the hatching on the gloves. Well, so his gloves are darker, right? Um, hold on. Oh, these are good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So, I try to keep the... I try to... I try to give the hatching, um... You know, obviously, the job of, of hatching is to darken stuff, and to give shape at the same time. So... What I don't want to do is counter. What what would be a good way to say counter? Counter curve your hatch marks. Like all right, see 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 these lines are at a curve, right? The curve is matching the shape of the ball of the fist here. So if I were to go in and counter curve these lines here like this. Uh, you see how it just kind of flattens that area out? Really, really annoying. I hate it when people do that. So if you're doing if you're doing an area like this where you're you're hatching, and you need to cross hatch, then find another direction uh, to go in, but make sure the curve maintains consistent with the shape that you are hatching. Cross hatching, right? Never counter curve. I know there's probably a better word for it, because um, it will just flatten out your image or that area, whatever it is. All right, go always go along with the curve, along with the shape. All right, um, hatching seems to be very stylistic for every artist. Yeah, but these are just basic rules. Um, there are artists who do counter curving and they're wrong. They're wrong. It's not a stylistic choice. It's a matter of ignorance. And I'm just going to lay that on the table. Mm -hmm. mm. It's because they were looking at somebody else's work. Nobody explained to them why hatch lines can curve, and therefore they learned wrong. Contours, contours. Yeah. So again, I kind of bag up a little bit of the wrinkles over the knee just to give some sense that there is a regular bending of the clothing here. Smack down my mic. It used to drive me nuts. There are these professional anchors in the industry and I would wa I would look at them doing these freaking horrendous crosshatch lines. I, I, there's one, I'm not going to say his name because there's one in 
particular and I know the guy and he's really nice and whatever and granted he was a kid when he was doing it but it drove me nuts in the 90s I was watching these people do this stuff and I'm like you are getting paid for this uh yeah yeah I'm eating it but my Isaac took my plate Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the guy's name was Art T. Bear. No, just kidding. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I remember Art ever doing it. can't eat this and work. So, I'll just pop over there when I can. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hi, shout out please. Hi, Tarantula. Shall I come back again? Sorry, I keep singing that song. Man, our youth leader at camp said that he hates um, Elvis. I'm like, what? What's wrong with you? Kids today don't understand anything. He's only like 26 or something. Devils in the deets. I know this is this is. I know uh, a lot of military style boots. They have the little hooks rather than the little hoops. But uh, eh, I don't feel like doing that right now. Now I'm trying to visualize the cross hatching error. I showed it to you, didn't I? I hope you guys never do it. If you do, I will crush you. Oh, I will. What's that? Oh, nice. My oh, that's the bitter, bitter, bitter green juice. Dallas Dead Eye for five bucks. Mike, can you expound on how good Matthew Weldon is? <laughs> Matt's good, man. Matt is good. Um, I don't know how to expound on that, but, uh, yeah, I really, really look forward to him working on that that uh, that book with uh, Edwin on the Outlander. Nope, that didn't work. The uh, Outlander. That's probably too tall. And then let me delete, delete, delete. I'm going to move these divots here. Um, Outlander, Outlander, Outlander. Yeah, Matthew Weldon and Edwin are working on a project together. A Lone Star uh, Ravage crossover on the Outlander campaign. I highly highly recommend everybody get over there and pick y'all sales up a copy or two or three whatever gosh I should probably oh you know what I should probably do a cover for that ah, darn it I can't keep volunteering myself for stuff but uh, 
That would be pretty cool. Ah, maybe I will. <laughs> My, Matthew's pieces always auction so high, so there's your answer. Yeah. Uh, Tarantula Catcher says, can you please tell people to subscribe to me, please? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been to your channel, man. How can I tell people to subscribe to you? Uh, I mean, you, what if it's porn? I gotta vet stuff. I'm not. I'm not like uh, some of these other guys who just blurt out names and say, "Hey, follow this guy," because I, I have to know what I'm telling you to go follow. Gotta have standards, yo. Gotta have standards. Should I save this? Yeah, let me save this. What the heck? Um, I'll just call it, uh, how to draw like a pro. Oh, star. <laughs> uh, Hugh asks, Mike, can you tell people not to subscribe to my channel? I produce no content. Please. No one. No one. Subscribe to Hugh. Thank you very much. Uh, one leg to go. I've only got one leg to stand on. Wah, 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 wah. Isn't Edwin writing with Ben? Um, Edwin can answer that. I think there is going to be some, uh, some co-writing, but I think Edwin is doing the bulk of it, if I'm not mistaken. All right, again, I'm going to give him this extra pocket type thing here. All right. I am doing this in part for Edwin and for Matthew Weldon so that he has a good primer on how to draw Lone Star. And then I'll get around to uh, just doing a real quick shot of his back. The logo on his back is the same as the logo on his helmet, but it's uh, it's big. And it's all the way across his back. And then don't forget there's a little seam inside your pants. Eee! That you can't necessarily see on both sides, but... Hiya, I'm new to your channel, but cool art. Thank you, Francis. Please do subscribe. I'm trying to do more and more of these how to draw videos. Uh, I have, oh, this was my my fourth one, maybe? Fourth or fifth? But I just started like two weeks ago and I took all of last week off. So I should be doing them regular regularly. And I do them, unlike most of these how to draw channels, um, I do them as workshops, so I do them live, and I allow uh, for questions so that I can uh, interact with the students, quote unquote students. So uh, again, please do subscribe and tell your friends. Tell all your artistic friends and your autistic friends. Why not? Tell everyone. Tell them all. And um, I will also be doing, instead of just the uh, the uh, the digital drawing like this stuff, I will be doing um, inking videos as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to f set up a camera somehow uh, so that I can capture close-up inking work. Um, Reminds me, I do have to order some new brushes. Feet are supposed to be sketched in at the last moment, if included, or off panel 98% of the time. Rob Liefeld told you so. I don't think that's true. You guys are so mean to Rob, I tell you.
<laughs> Alright, and then again, devil's in the details. Stitching on the boots. Now, of course, like I said, this stitching and everything, all my details, would look so much cooler if I was inking them with actual quill tools and whatnot. Um, but hey, whatever. Oh, what the heck was that? That was weird. E. Race, 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 race. So maybe I'll do like some breakdowns. Maybe I'll do some breakdowns. Oh, actually, dude, I do have older breakdown videos. I did I did breakdown videos for a couple of my different uh, Game of Thrones covers. Ooh, I should add those to this playlist. That's what I should do. Um, yeah, those are, those. I did those a long time ago. Some of the Clash of Kings covers are, are ooh, I gotta do his eagle. I'm, I forgot, tried to, oh, let me do his collar first. <laughs> Songs that made the hip parade. Guys like us, we had it made. Those were the days. Guiles were guiles and men were men. Mr. We could use a guy like Herbert Hoover again. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Oh, are you stuck in the 70s? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I don't know why that song popped into my head. It popped into my head. Sorry. Those were the days. Yeah, this line not good. See, it's, it's hard to draw backwards curves. Backwards curves, which probably might not make sense to some of you, but if you're right-handed, drawing a curve like this is a lot easier than drawing a curve like this. Uh, I imagine if you're left-handed, it's different. That's a Wu Tang Clan shirt. No, it's not. It is a yellow bald eagle. But you're not the first person to say that. Guiles were guiles and men were men. Glad to be here, be here watching him. Well, I'm glad you're here watching me. Paper and ink has zero lag. True. Hmm. And after I fill in these blacks, bam. You know, easiest way to fill this in Doot. this. I know I don't even have to fill in this area, but whatever. Whatever. And then, and then, the large 
the lodge. Um, no. The spider point guy is back. What? Uh, Mike, can't you rotate your canvas in Photoshop to make that curve easier? Yeah, I'm just uh, lazy, I guess. Shut up, man. Tell me to rotate my canvas. Jeez. Why don't you go rotate your canvas? Leave my canvas out of it. Drawn Lone Star at attention. Draw Lone Star. I'm kind of. <laughs> I already got a thing going here. Kyle's were Kyle's and man, one man. All right, Mike's real superpower is filtering out background noise. It's quite a skill, I must say. All right, doop, doop. No, you're the background noise, Isaac, not the window. All right, now if I really wanted to be kind of persnickety about it, I would come in here and I would do all these little spots for the zippers. And I guess I'm going to be, so. Did you give Ethan her $200 from last night's auction yet? Yeah, I ran straight to the ATM and I withdrew $200. No, I haven't even left the house, man. Oh, wait, actually, that's not true. I did leave the house. I just didn't go to the ATM. I was out of creamer this morning, so I had to go get more creamer for me cafe. My cafe, I need more creamer. Man, Ina's not even here. All right, so there we have it. How to draw Lone Star. Uh, the IOYs are piling up. <laughs> it's IOU, man. It's IOU. All right. Uh, I rejected all help many years and struggled for nearly a decade. All right, well, guys, ladies, gentlemen, um, and others, I guess. Um, <laughs> that's how to draw Lone Star. Oh, should I, uh, should I do, well, okay, the logo on the back is just, you know, it's the logo on his head except for it's on his back and it's bigger. So I guess you don't really need any other information other than that. I hope you have enjoyed Lone Star! Go get Soul of the Soldier! Mike, How? what about how to make a contrast between the jacket and the black of the shirt? How to make a contrast? I'm, I don't quite understand the question. That Lone Star is out of uniform. What? 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 Ah, uh, end of stream. Yes, yes. Well, it is. How I've been. Oh my gosh, this has been an hour and thirty. This is the longest how to draw comics like a pro episode I have done. Can't believe it took me that long to draw this piece. But anyways, there it is, and this has been how to draw Lone Star like a pro. So thank you, one and all, like a pro. Thank you, one and all, for being here. Sorry you just got here, uh, but uh, I don't know. I'll be doing. I got to do some other streaming somewhere because I need to I need to get out there and promote Lone Star, uh, Soul of the Soldier on Indiegogo. Uh, campaign ends Monday. 
So if you haven't, thank you, Francis, for subbing. Uh, if anyone else is here who's new, please do subscribe and uh, let your friends know if uh, they like, they would like to learn to how to draw, to learn to how to draw, learn how to draw comics from a 27-year industry veteran, best known for Injustice, Game of Thrones, Superman, Wolverine, X Man, JLA, etc., etc., etc. Then this is the place to do it. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Love to you all. I will see you on the next How to Draw Lone Star. Otherwise, I'll probably be back on later tonight trying to promote LoneStarComic.com. LoneStarComic.com.